Beyond Neptune, the most distant planet from the Sun, there lies a dark and mysterious realm filled with millions of icy objects. This is the Kuiper Belt and it is located at the very edge of our solar system. There are countless asteroids in our solar system, which are located in a region of space between Mars and Jupiter. This is known as the Asteroid Belt. There are many similarities between the Asteroid Belt and the Kuiper Belt, but in this video we will be exploring some of their key differences. The Kuiper Belt was discovered in 1992 by astronomers Jane Liu and Dave Lewitt. Scientists believe that they are the remnants of the early history of our solar system. It is one of the largest structures in our entire solar system, and it is shaped almost like a donut. So how exactly was the Kuiper Belt formed and what is in it? Essentially, the Kuiper Belt is an area of all of the leftover debris and remnants of our solar system, along with various other strange objects. There are many dwarf planets such as Pluto, Maki Maki, Haumea, Ixion and Verona that are situated in this belt. They are also sometimes referred to as trans-Neptunian objects. The main body of the Kuiper Belt is also known to be home to more than a trillion comet nuclei. This means that a major source of all of the comets present in our solar system is the Kuiper Belt. Aside from this, there are around 100 million small objects with a diameter of 20 kilometers or less that vary from bits of rock and ice, comets, dwarf planets and other debris. A lot of the Kuiper Belt dwarf planets are known to have many moons. So far, only one spacecraft has ever visited the Kuiper Belt. Back in July of 2015, NASA launched a mission known as the NASA New Horizons mission to specifically study the dwarf planet Pluto, all of its moons and other objects in the Kuiper Belt. However, amount of material that we have found in the Kuiper Belt is probably only just a fraction of what is actually out there. The asteroid belt is a region of space found between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Most of the asteroids orbiting our Sun are found in this belt. It is described as torus-shaped. There are four main objects that make up almost half the entire mass of this belt. These include three asteroids called Pallas, Hygieia, and Vesta, and a dwarf planet known as Sears. The asteroid belt was first discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi. Similar to the Kuiper belt, the asteroid belt was formed from the remains of our solar system. Most of the asteroids in the belt are composed of rock and stone, however a small portion of them are known to be made up of metals like iron and nickel. Some of the asteroids are a mix-up of all of these things, along with carbon-rich minerals. Compared to the Kuiper belt, exploring the asteroid belt is much more difficult. There have been a few probes sent to the asteroid belt in the past, however, there are some challenges that come with it. In 2007, NASA launched a space probe known as Dawn to explore the asteroid Vesta, which is the second most massive body in the asteroid belt. After exploring Vesta for a year, the space probe also explored the dwarf planet Sears. The space probe collected various samples from these bodies for our scientists to study. What are some of the main differences between the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt? To start off with, the Kuiper belt is way farther from the Sun than the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is believed to be between 249 million km to 749 million km from the Sun, whereas, the Kuiper belt is supposed to be between 4.5 to 8.2 billion km away from the Sun. The asteroid belt is mainly composed of asteroids whereas the Kuiper belt contains various objects such as rocks, ice, comets and other dwarf planets. The Kuiper belt is also much bigger than the asteroid belt. The objects in the asteroid belt are mostly rocky as opposed to the objects in the Kuiper belt which are mainly icy. If you like the video make sure hit the like button and share. Do subscribe to get daily content like this straight in your YouTube feed.